today I want to talk to you guys about why I choose to personally shoot an 8 or a 9 power lens in my scope. I get this question a lot as not many people shoot that high of power, but I want to explain to you why and maybe give some of you guys that are starting out a better idea of maybe where you'd like to start. So, first, there's two different kinds of people. There's the first person that wants to see a very, very still sight picture. When you put your pin in the middle, they don't want to see it move. Okay, I don't mind. I don't mind that. I'm not that person. Then there's the second person that doesn't mind seeing movement on their sight picture and they can still execute through the shot. Many people, when they draw back and if they see their sight picture moving, their execution freezes. It takes a special kind of person that can see that movement and still pull through their shot. I'm one of those people. So for me personally and mentally, when I draw back and I look at a target, if I draw back with a five power lens, which I have here, and I look at, let's say, a Vegas face, it looks so small to me. The nine ring even looks small to me. And in my mind, I instantly think, man, this is going to be tough to hit. That's hard. It's small. Same thing on a reading dot. When I draw back and the dot looks very tiny, mentally, I almost have a little panic attack up there. So. When I draw back with an 8 power or 9 power, and quite honestly, I'll shoot the highest power that I can and you know get it to clear up, um, it looks literally like a basketball. So the 9 ring on a Vegas face is the size of most of my scope. And for me, mentally, that is so much easier to aim at and execute, even though my pin is moving, because I can see exactly where on the 10 ring my pin is, and it looks giant. In my mind, I think, how could I miss this? It's massive. So I know a lot of people do not prefer high sight magnifications, but that is why I personally choose it. I don't mind the movement. I like to see exactly where I'm aiming. And it's very comforting to me personally when the dot looks giant. But I would recommend most people starting out probably to start with around a four, maximum a six power lens. I would say that's more average. That's what most people use. But if you get the opportunity and you can test a higher power of magnification, I would really recommend it. If you're one of those people that likes what I like to see, then I think it would be really, really beneficial to you. Now, one thing I want to add is that for Target, I always shoot a 29 millimeter scope housing, and that's perfectly fine because we don't need to see the whole target. Um, for 3D, if I wanted to use a little bit higher scope magnification, I would need to go to a larger size scope. That way I could still see around the animal, but have a very magnified sight picture. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope it gives you some starting points on you know what to test if you're someone that's gonna try to transition over to a freestyle setup. And hopefully it explains why I choose to shoot what I do. Thank you guys for following along and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos.